is how the clutch switch works. Um, what I had done is I've marked how this sits up and up and underneath there. I marked where it sets resting and then when the clutch is pressed in there's the mark where it um, rests while being pressed. Now this is very important because if I have it pressed too far it will not start at all. So I'm marking it now so I can figure out where this needs to sit or will not work at all. Okay so starting the vehicle let's show how this works. Okay, it's on the off position now. It will not start. Turning the key. Nothing. Put it on the start position. It starts. Turn it off. Let's extend it to where it's maxed. Try to start it. It does not work. Again. It does not work. Start. Um, another thing is, I have to take the key out and re, re uh, do uh, everything when I do that because it uh, messes with the computer or something. So put it on start. And there it goes again. And it starts right back up again. Take the clutch off. Now I'm just going to turn off the vehicle. That way, in case it was to mess up with the codes or something, I don't know. This uh, switch is a little bit like a radio dial. Uh, very, very similar. So if I hooked up the three wires to a, ra a radio dial that you can uh, probably get at Radio Shack, you have like the gray and red, yellow, black, and gray. Uh, black and gray are one wire. Gray and red are one wire. Uh, those wires all uh, have to do with the clutch operation. Now, one wire should be the main wire, which I tapped into and have yet still to figure out what's going on here reading uh, online it looks like one wire is for the cruise control so when you press on the clutch it will turn off the cruise control so which will also uh, uh, tell the computer what's going on there and then the other wire should be just the circuit in itself for the safety switch for starting my car so when I start my car press in the clutch for safety and then I start my car but if it was in gear and I let out it would let me know before damaging something 